Many teachers tell me that they don't teach probability and statistics, and if they do, they don't teach it very much. Typically, they will say, I just don't have time, or some teachers will even tell me, I'm not sure how to teach it. I'm not sure what's important. I think that teaching the basics of these at the elementary level is very important, and at the middle school level, it should be taught even more. If you were teaching students the very beginning ideas in probability, what would you teach them? Pause the video and think about what you might say or what you might show them to understand what this is all about. I think the first place we have to start with students is the word itself. Ask them what word they hear in the word probability, and they will probably say probably, and this is a good place to start. If something is probably going to happen, what does that mean? We can go from there to things like, what are the chances? What are the chances it's going to rain today? What are the odds of something happening? But basically at the elementary level, we want them to understand that probability means we are thinking about the total possible chances that something could happen, and then the chances that something specific might happen out of that total. For example, if they look inside a cookie jar and they see a lot of chocolate cookies and only a few vanilla cookies and they just put their hand in and draw one out, what do you think the chances are that you would draw a chocolate cookie? Are they better than the vanilla cookie or are they worse? We want students to start thinking about probability that way, in a very simple way. Sometimes we can have students picture something that isn't really very logical just to make it fun or interesting. For example, what if we told them, I'm going to take a whole bunch of tickets, I'm going to take thousands of tickets, and I'm going to spread them all over the gym floor. One of those tickets has a star on it, and if you get the one with the star, you win a prize. What do you think your chances are if I let you pick only one ticket up from that floor of winning that prize? Sometimes this can get students thinking about things like the lottery, spend, spending money on something that may have a very small chance of winning. There are many activities we can do to help them understand probability. One of them is putting stones in a cup. For example, if I had a cup with these colored stones in it, and I asked students to just draw a stone out of the cup without looking, and I ask them to do that several times, I might have them predict, what do you think the chances are of drawing a red stone or a blue stone? I would just have them do that in words. Do you think the chances are better that you're going to draw red or blue? After they've drawn 10 times, and they've maybe drawn a red stone all 10 times, or eight out of 10 times, what do you think the chances are? Then I can have them look inside the cup, and they can see how many stones there are. They can see that there are 15 red stones and there are only two blue stones. So there are 17 stones total. Your chances of drawing a blue are 2 out of 17. This helps them to see what the odds are, what the chances are. What do you think it's important to have students understand in the elementary years about statistics, about numbers and data? Pause the video and see what you think. We could actually take this in a lot of different directions, but there are some basic things that I think are important for students to see when it comes to data and statistics in the elementary level. One of them is thinking about percent the percent of a chance that something will happen. We might talk about that in weather. There's a 90% chance it's going to rain. How did they come up with that statistic? That's actually related again to probability. What does that statistic mean? We can have students look at pie graphs and have them see how colors can represent percent and chance. That there's a 75% chance here and only a 25% chance here. We want students to understand that statistics are often expressed in ways that are easy for us to see. For example, in pie graphs, or even percent is easier than saying a very large number out of this very large number did this. This is something that helps us to interpret what's going on in the world in easier ways. We can also teach students about things like a batting average. What does that mean? If they have a batting average of 324, is that good? 
And if we have baseball fans in our room, they might say, well, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty solid batting average. And then I might say, well, what if they've only been at bat five times? Does that change what you think about that statistic? We need to teach students that numbers can almost show anything we want them to. We can manipulate those numbers. So we have to always think about what is that really representing? Another thing we want to do a lot of, I believe, in elementary school is have students work with data that they create and have them show that data in different kinds of graphs. So we want them to think about a simple graph. I like to give my students plain paper, have them conduct a survey or collect data of some sort, and then figure out what is that data going to look like on the graph. What am I going to put here? What am I going to put here? Am I going to use bars? Am I going to use lines? Am I going to do a pie graph like this? What's the best way to represent that data? So I think in the elementary years, as we deal with statistics, we want to back up to what is the purpose of this? What do these statistics tell us? Is it reliable? Is it not? How, how can we show that data in the most logical way so that people can glance at it and say, ah, I see. The whole point of data and statistics is to try to convince us of something to show us something in a very quick and easy way so that we will believe something and can interpret information about that data. So at the elementary level, we want it to be real to students as much as possible. It should be at the elementary level, that should be data that's relevant to them, and even better yet, data that they collect. Probability and statistics are around us all the time, every day in the world. Students need to work with it. They need to understand it. They need they need to become adults who are critical thinkers, who can make good decisions based on the information that they're presented. It's so important.